India! Go back! Go India! Go back! Separatist leaders gather to remember the victims of the Gorkhadal massacre. In 1990, thousands of Kashmiris defied a curfew and took part in a protest march. They shouted independence slogans and threw stones at Indian soldiers. Indian security forces responded by shooting at the crowd. Separatist leaders say their communities continue to face injustice. We demand the right of self-determination, azadi, from the Indian occupation. The Indian military, Indian government has oppressed the Kashmiris on every front and all, at all places. They have done these massacres. Farooq Ahmed survived the Gorkhadal massacre. He was a regional government employee on duty at the time and saw people being killed around him. The officer came towards me with his stand gun in his hand. Then I got up. I told him, for God's sake, don't shoot. I am an officer on duty. Yet, without listening to me, he fired at me full breast. All the you see, bullets in the magazine he threw, threw at me. Then I had bullets all around my body. Then I fell down. Lawyers say the Gorkadal massacre is one of many mass killings for which no one has been brought to justice. I am really disappointed that the systems, the institutions here have no will and determination. On the contrary, they want to protect the perpetrators. They want to, you know, absolve them from the crimes against humanity they have been committed here. For decades, Indian-administered Kashmir has been at the centre of a Muslim separatist movement against Indian rule. Separatist groups are fighting for the Indian-administered portion of Kashmir to become independent. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.